gente! Oh my goodness, you guys, I'm so freaking excited because we have a special guest. We have Sylvia, aka Mama Latina. Yay! Thank you Hello. for coming. Thank so, you for inviting me. Oh my gosh, so it's so crazy. If you guys remember, I made the bolillo recipe. It was her recipe from her blog, and I shouted her out and I was like, hey, if you wanna collab, let's collab. And she was like, yeah, yes. let's collab. And I'm like, <laughs> What? Really? Oh my god, I feel so honored. So I have oh. been following her blog for a long time now because I've been wanting to incorporate more Mexican cuisine into this household and your recipes are just so amazing. They look Thank so you. delicious and I finally built up the courage to make the first one which is the bolillo recipe and now we're gonna be making Pumpkin atole! <laughs> so this time you're with me. So I feel like, yeah. oh my gosh, I get to learn from the teacher directly. I know, it's so fun. And we're gonna make a, a very easy recipe mm -hmm. that is like a nice combination between Mexican and American, right? Yeah, just in time for Thanksgiving. Yeah, because you know, we love pumpkin of this season, yes. right? Love it. But in Mexico, we I mean, we have calabaza and tacha. Yeah. Which is the pumpkin. But yeah. the way we, we eat it is just in dulce, in mm -hmm. like a candy, candy. and like a, yeah. with this kind of syrup, and then yeah. we call that milk. This is like a pumpkin pie in a cup. Oh. You know, in Spanish, how we call meat, all of it is just meat. meat. Like, I didn't really know <laughs> the differences of like, different types of animals like yes. no one really calls it like yeah. by the animal anyway the point is i don't know the difference between atole and champurado so what is the well difference? so the champurado is a kind of atole okay right so when we talk about atoles it's a corn-based beverage okay. right so you can either use cornstarch or masa Oh, okay. Which is corn. Oh, corn. Yeah, that's true. I see. I never really put yeah. it together, but that's yeah. true. Masa is yeah. from corn. So the masa is corn, but in a, in a, like a thick form, and it gives a more earthy mm. flavor to mm -hmm. the atole. Yeah. And the cornstarch is the flour, so that gives. Um, for me, it's like silkier and more not as earthy, but I like it better, mm -hmm. right? My mom used to make atole with cornstarch. Mm -hmm. How I learned it, and that's how I make it. We're gonna pour the milk in the pot first. And then I also, I purposely got Lala milk, which is a Mexican brand. Yeah. And how are you gonna eat this one? Oh, I don't know, we're gonna make some. Oh, more bolillos. Bolillos, <laughs> pan dulce, tamales. Oh, yes. Okay, there you go. Then we're gonna add cinnamon. And you did it right because we need to explain that to people because sometimes you find this cinnamon that is like very hard. Hard. So you need to make sure that you get the, the Mexican. Oh, I call it Mexican. Maybe <laughs> it's not. But see how is uh, you see a lot of layers in the cinnamon. Oh, okay. That's the one you need because sometimes you find one that is just one layer. Oh. And it smells like cinnamon but it never breaks. Mm. And you need this to break all the flavor and break all the spice. That's good to know. Right? Just to get all the like aroma it. and everything oh, out. Oh my God. And I just throw it right in. Oh, right. Like that. Smells delicious. Okay. The good thing about the atole is that you can choose the amount of sweetness that you want. Okay. Because it's always it's always better to add if you need more. Yeah. And for some people it's too sweet. It depends how you want it. So okay. let's just do that and play with the flavor. Okay. And now we are going to a little bit of a little bit of this. And now and I'm going to explain you why. When you combine milk with a fruit or a veggie that is a little acidic. Yeah. Uh, we say in Mexico se corta, which is like a, the, the meal breaks. Yeah. So you start seeing all these dots on it. Baking soda will help us with that. Okay. So it's gonna be like a pinch. Okay. That's yeah. it. Okay. So now we're gonna put this on the stove okay. and we're gonna get it boiling. So we're just gonna get one, one cup. cup. Yeah. So the pumpkin is a little bit um, has a lot of body, right? Mm -hmm. So it's gonna help with the thick, with the thickness of the atole. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna use a lot less cornstarch that we use on another atoles. Okay. And then we are going to uh, mix our cornstarch on one cup of milk. So we're gonna put like this is a big cup. Yeah. <laughs> so let's just do half. <laughs> so we're gonna add for now just a couple. Now stir until everything is dissolved. Okay. So remember, it has to be cold. 
Okay, yeah. So now it's time to go back to milk with these two. Yeah. And we're just gonna keep stirring and you're gonna add the pumpkin puree. Okay. And the importance to do that is that uh, we don't want it to break. So I wanna keep moving, moving, moving. Because we don't wanna break the milk. You wanna break the milk. How do you say that in English? Because we say it's a corta in Espanol. Yeah. But how do you say it? Like a curl? Curl? Curl. A curl? Yeah. If that happens to you. Yes. Which you're gonna notice, if you do like this and you see how it, it's like all, all soft. Yes. Here, if it was a, like a bro breaking, you yeah. will see a lot of white spots. Oh, okay. So if that happens to you, you remove it from the heat. Okay. You pour it, but you uh, um, you uh, strain, strain it, strain it, strain okay. it because you have all, and you put it in your blender. You just blend it up and that fix it. Okay. And then you put it back. And then you put it back. Okay. And that's and oh, well, that's, that's good it. to know. Yeah. Okay. So now we're gonna add the cornstarch and we're gonna continuously stir. And the reason for that is that um, if you don't stir, it tends to stick to the bottom. Yeah, you don't want and that. And it has a little bit of burn, and you don't want that. What are we looking for? For thickness? The thickness, okay. yeah. So right now, it's, as you can see, it's very... Yeah, watery. Very watery, yeah. But as it start boiling, it's gonna start thickening. Okay. But it's that easy, is that all? Nice! nice. So easy! <laughs> Yeah, a few ingredients, and you can make it with different fruits. Ooh. Yeah. Oh yeah. So what would be the difference if, let's say, I wanted to make guava? So for guava, you need to cook the guava with sugar before. Okay. Until it's completely like cooked. Boiled. Until yes. Okay. You know, I'm gonna try to make one with like peanut butter. Yeah. So I bet it could be super easy. Oh yeah, and really delicious. Yeah, I mean, you just put the sugar in the milk mm -hmm. and the cinnamon, and then you just add peanut butter. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, slightly. Yeah, but start getting silky and nice. Mm, this looks so good. Yeah. I kind of wish we made a big old pot. <laughs> <laughs> Just to have it. Like, how long would it last? Uh, well, it's hard to say because my house doesn't last. We just eat it. <laughs> <laughs> nice, you know? What do you think? Is that thickening? Mm, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> it's getting more body, but it's not still thick. Oh my God, it, it smells. smells so good! Oh my gosh! I love it! Oh, the cinnamon and the pumpkin and the milk. Oh my god. Oh, this smells so good. I'm just gonna make this just to make my house smell good. Oh my gosh, my mouth is so watery. So how thick do you like your atole? Um, like I said, I'm really new to atole. Yeah. I'm used mm -hmm. to champurrado thickness. Mm -hmm. So and, I'm, what, and what is the champurrado thickness for you? What I'm used to is pretty thick. It's pretty thick. Yeah. yeah. But I'm totally open to not having it super thick. Whatever, whatever you recommend. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Sylvia's way. Sylvia's way. Uh, my way. <laughs> yeah. I like it some body on it, but yeah. not super thick. That yeah, like you need that. I cannot drink it. Yes. <laughs> I've had I want to drink it. Yeah. I've had tempurado that's so thick. Like you, you need, need a spoon. spoon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you know what? It. I think I'm gonna make this on Thanksgiving Day because I'm trying to. Yeah. I'm planning on making a pumpkin dessert of some sort. Maybe a pumpkin pie. Maybe a pumpkin pie cheesecake. Maybe a pumpkin. Uh, oatmeal cookies, I don't know, something. And then you make the pumpkin at Tully, so it's pumpkin ah, and pumpkin. Yes, I love pumpkin. I you love can pumpkin. never have too much pumpkin. No, you know what I do? I actually, the pumpkin season, I get a bunch of pumpkin uh, cans so I can make pumpkin pie Ooh, any time of the year. I love it. I don't care. If it's not Thanksgiving, yeah. I'm going to. Like, why is pumpkin my... okay. only for the fall? I know, what is it? It's so good. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's boiling. Oh, yeah, so we're gonna lower the, po the, the volume. No, <laughs> we're gonna lower the temperature. Yeah, just keep stirring. My mom taught me recently um, to make refried beans from a can to add uh -huh. milk. And it probably take the flavor, a little it bit does. of the can flavor that's out. That's exactly oh, the reason why. I'm I gonna should... try that. Hey, that's cool. I get to pass on yeah. a, a trick from my mom that's to Mama great. Latina. Yes, because <laughs> I usually make my beans, you know, from scratch, but sometimes I want beans and I don't have beans and yeah. I don't want to wait for them. So a can of beans is always yeah, just add it's the best friend. Of milk. Yeah. That's my mom's oh, good. tip there. I'm gonna do that. Look at this. Yeah. So it has a little bit of body. See, when you do this and it's all smooth, it means that it didn't break. Oh, nice. Yeah. Mm. So let's just turn it off. And now, with a tole, wait a little bit, okay? okay? Like 10 minutes, because it's super hot and it really can. Oh, yeah, you'll burn It yourself. can hurt you. Yeah. I can, I easily burn my tongue. Yeah. So all my hot drinks are like lukewarm. Okay. <laughs> that's it. Is that yeah, easy? Yeah, that's super easy. Yeah. I could totally do this all the time. <laughs> how do you, how do you feel? I'm ready for the all the time. <laughs> Bring it on. Ready for the tole. Yay, I'm so excited. 
good. So we're gonna strain it. Oh my goodness. Oh. Almost there. Perfect. Perfect. With every drop. A okay. moment of truth. Okay, here we go. I'll just pour a little bit. A little bit. Because we also, I, you know, we need to try from uh, sweetness. It needs sugar. Yeah. Yeah. It's really good though. It needs more sugar. Mm. Oh! Hot! Oh! I got hot. the back of my throat. Yes. Hot. Ah. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Oh, man. Mm. I want to be sitting on a rocking chair in a rancho in like sunset right now. I us imagine that. Let's close our eyes. In the rancho. Hearing the crickets. <laughs> it needs a little sugar, but it's very good. Okay. So one, two. Because mm -hmm. I like my atole sweet. I don't know you, but okay, That's perfect. Totally okay. I mean, a tiny bit thicker would have hurt, but yeah. this is perfect. I think so too. Gosh, yes. Oh, that's really good. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I'm not big on sweet. Yeah, I was gonna say, this is perfect for That's me. perfect for you? That would be perfect for me. Okay, let's try with sugar. We're not patient. We just can't. No, like, yeah. <laughs> <You wanna try? laughs> oh, oh, much better, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We like our atoll is sweet. Yes. So now we just need some tamalitos. Oh, pan yes. dulce, bolillo. Yes. Just dip the bolillo in there. You know how we, how you guys can get mm -hmm. it? MamaLatinaTips.com. Perfect for Thanksgiving. Yeah, exactly. Me so pumpkin many, season, right? So many yummy things you can make and try. Mm. Mm. Oh, I can't stop drinking this. keep drinking this, right? It's so good. It's not gonna last. I know. Trust me, how long it's gonna last. You're so it's right. It's not gonna last for 24 gonna. hours. No. I had a blast. Thank you so much. And I'm just so excited to now know how to make atole. Mm -hmm. And I can try it with different um, flavors. Different flavors. Mm -hmm. And I'll be texting you and be like, oh, what do you think? How should I do this? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you guys make sure to check out her blog. She also has a YouTube channel. You can check out all the links in the description. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye-bye.